Hello, welcome to the Daily English News program on Azerbaijan Television with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilar Hatamovam. President Ilham Aliyev signed an executive order on the measures to reconstruct the Shushalachin Highway. According to the executive order, 6 million minutes is earmarked to the Azerbaijan Automobile Yolada State Agency for the reconstruction of the 41 kilometers long highway. Meeting of Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the Caspian Littoral States took place in Moscow. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan, Jehun Bayramov, attended the meeting. As part of the event, the Azerbaijani Foreign Minister met with his Russian counterpart. Before the meeting of the Foreign Ministers of the Caspian Littoral States, a bilateral meeting of the Foreign Ministers of Azerbaijan and Russia took place, during which current issues on the agenda of bilateral and multilateral Azerbaijani-Russian cooperation were discussed. In particular, issues of regional security, including the current situation in the region in the post-conflict period, as well as issues of cooperation in the 3 plus 3 format were discussed. Noting the high level of relations between Russia and Azerbaijan, Sergei Lavrov emphasized that the two countries are closely cooperating within the framework of a number of large projects related to interaction in the economic sphere, including the International North-South Corridor. Russian Foreign Minister noted the perspective of the 3 plus 3 platform implemented at the initiative of the Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. Then, a meeting of the foreign ministers of the Caspian Littoral States took place in expanded format. Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov noted that the current meeting is taking place in conditions of high uncertainty in the region and emphasized the importance of compliance with principles such as territorial integrity, sovereignty and non-use of force by the countries mentioned in the Convention on the Legal Status of the Caspian Sea. Then the Caspian region will become a space of peace, friendship and cooperation. Jehom Bayramov noted that Azerbaijan is a party to 15 of 16 international legal documents on the Caspian Sea and called to expand activities on raising the investment attractiveness of the Caspian region and the economic competitiveness of the Caspian littoral states. Stressing that Azerbaijan has the largest merchant fleet in the Caspian Sea, the minister noted that the country is currently working on modernizing the Alat seaport in order to increase cargo transportation. Jehom Bayramov also proposed to base the secretariat of an expert group created on the initiative of Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev to study the causes of changes in the level of the Caspian Sea. An anti-personnel mine exploded on the territory of Sarajale village, Agdam district. As a result of the incident, 31-year-old Anama employee Vagivek Fadov was injured. He was taken to the district hospital where his leg was amputated. His condition is reported to be satisfactory. Azerbaijan initiated the Green Energy Partnership with seven international companies. This announcement was made at the event titled Opportunities for Investment in Renewable Energy Sources in Azerbaijan within the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change in Dubai. It was noted that the transformation of Azerbaijan into a green growth or country by 2030 is one of the national priorities for socio-economic development. The transformation of the territory is liberated from occupation from a gray zone to the green energy zone and the transformation of the Caspian Sea into the center of production and export of green energy will be accelerated. The event highlighted opportunities for companies to work together in other areas, such as establishing local production of wind turbines and solar panels, creating energy storage systems and using advanced green technologies for efficient energy distribution. Representatives of 17 energy companies and organizations took part in the event, which organized in the Azerbaijan Pavilion. At the plenary session of the Milli Majlis, the bill on the state budget for 2024 was approved in the third reading. The session also approved bills on the creation of the Ahdara region, which makes partial changes to the administrative territorial division of the Ahdam, Jabrail, Fizoli, Khojali, Khojavan, Kubadli, Lachin and Shusha regions. O'Brien is set to meet with Azerbaijan officials in Baku with the aim of enhancing bilateral relations and promoting peace between Azerbaijan and Armenia. The press service of the U.S. State Department has confirmed this. The assistant to the U.S. Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs will be visiting Azerbaijan from the 6th to the 8th of December. You can get in touch with us by contacting the AZTV hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.